Who are Hezbollah? Hezbollah is the name of a Lebanese organization, a political party, and adjacent military wing. The name Hezbollah comes from two separate Arabic words, Hizb Allah, which means the party of God. And Hezbollah is an incredibly multifaceted organization, being in part a political party, whilst also being involved in social welfare projects, public protest, a militant armed group, as well as a terrorist organization as designated by several countries and organizations worldwide. Opinions differ as to when Hezbollah was founded as a single party. Some claim it was as late as 1985, while other analysts say that it was earlier in 1982, in the middle of Lebanon's civil war. This came in the face of an Israeli invasion of southern Lebanon, and the group was helped in part by the Revolutionary Guard of Iran, who shared the Shia faith of most Hezbollah members. Hezbollah, therefore, was an amalgamation of various Shia armed groups, especially in the south of Lebanon. Now, the analyst David Dawood said Hezbollah is not simply a proxy of Iran, but Hezbollah is an extension of Iran, showing just how important that country is for the funding, the foundation, and indeed the direction of the group, which is based in Lebanon. In any case, in the 1980s, Hezbollah were some of the toughest fighters in Lebanon's civil war, fighting against a multitude of enemies, such as the Palestinian PLO, other Lebanese militant groups, and of course the Israelis, who have remained their main target since that time. Hezbollah also were some of the first Islamist groups to carry out the suicide bombing method against both civilian and military targets. And in 1990, when most armed groups in Lebanon signed the Taif Agreement and decided to demobilize thanks to Iran's intervention, Hezbollah remained armed. With the end of the civil war in 1990, the group started to transform, away from its roots of being a militia and a terrorist organization, into creating also a political and a social movement within the areas that it controlled in Lebanon. It focused on these and they were rewarded in their efforts, as in 1992 when the country held elections, they won eight seats in the country's new parliament. Soon afterwards, they also employed bands of foreign fighters to fight alongside the Bosnian government during the war in the Balkans. However, the main target during these years would remain the state of Israel, firing rockets and assassinating soldiers, which would lead to Israeli reprisals, like in 1993, Operation Accountability, and in 1996, the much larger Operation Grapes of Wrath, which would lead to a four-year ceasefire with the Israelis. Nevertheless, violence still lurked, and in 2000, there were more reprisals following the killing of several Israeli soldiers. In 1997, the group had been designated as a terrorist organization by the United States, and in 2005, members of the group were responsible for killing the former Prime Minister of Lebanon, Rafi Kariri, because of his opposition to Syrian involvement in the country. In 2006, the group once again antagonized the Israelis by firing rockets at troops patrolling along the border. This led to a month-long war known as the Lebanon War in which Israel invaded Lebanon in order to root out the Hezbollah militants. This ultimately failed, although in 2008 and 9, the group did somewhat change its tact, having less of an emphasis on its Shia Islamism and more on its political mainstay within the country, something which started to show success as in 2014 when polled Christians in Lebanon 33% of them were likely to view Hezbollah in a favorable light when Sunni Muslims 9% of whom were now likely to find Hezbollah in a good light which was up from previous years of course the percentage among the Shia minority in Lebanon is much higher in 2011, the group became embroiled in the Syrian civil war, fighting on the side of Bashar al-Assad, a fellow Shia Muslim who had in the past also supported Hezbollah in its goals inside Lebanon. In 2013, the group was also declared a terrorist organization in all its forms by the European Union, something it hadn't before done. Yet it was able to survive because of its backing from Iran, who are estimated to grant the group around $700,000 a year. 
The group also receives a lot of support from legal businesses thanks to the Lebanese diaspora, especially that in South America, in particular Argentina. Argentina, of course, being important because Hezbollah-affiliated groups there are heavily involved in the drug trade. They've also attacked several Jewish targets, such as the Israeli embassy and Jewish cultural centers with suicide bombs, such as in 1992 and in 1994 in Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. Within Lebanon, the group remains incredibly powerful, controlling large areas and the political group having a lot of support, especially from its Shia minority. In 2008, the group were able to secure 13 seats in the election. However, in 2019, there were widespread protests throughout Lebanon against all forms of political power, including against Hezbollah, who have a large amount of that power. Interestingly enough, these came from all three of the largest religious groups, the Christians, the Sunni Muslims, and also the Shia Muslims, who had previously often been seen as the champions of Hezbollah. Some analysts believe this would be the end of the group's popular support, but so far this has not been the case, and they remain one of the best armed and well-trained non-state actors in the world. For the time being, it seems that Hezbollah will be sticking around.